Hello, everyone. Welcome to State of the Game for June 9th. 9th? 9th, Ninth. Ninth. yes. Hi, hi, hi. Also, by the way, I'm not meant to be here, but... Yeah, you just showed up this morning. We're like, hey, can I join? I was like, yay, vacation time. Let's do a State of the Game thing. So I've been demoted. I'm not the host anymore. I know. So. But we can switch. No, that's fine. If you want. No, you haven't been demoted. Apparently, I heard you got a huge raise to managing director. <laughs> Apparently, some people said I was managing director. That's not Ooh. true. I wish I was. All right, so not. David found out <laughs> <laughs> the hard way. Sorry, David. Yannick's, Yannick's yeah. in charge now. Sorry. Um, okay, state of the game today, June 9th, I said. Yes. Um, we've got a few things to talk about. Uh, there is a maintenance, what we're in right now. Yep. Server's coming back up in 23 minutes. Uh, there's a few changes. All right, yep. so today, the teleport issues? What's yeah, so now? there was the this teleport issue. We talked about it. It was already listed in on issues as, some, as something that we had a fix for. And we actually, uh, I think that was part of the fix we wanted to deploy last week, and we couldn't. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so there are, I think, three instances that are fixed, two in the dark zone, 06, mm -hmm. that people knew about that was kind of annoying, where you would just show up, uh, go in the subway, and then end up being teleported to your safe house or checkpoint. Yeah, super annoying. And the one with the electronic store that is... It's kind of uh, like the northwest... Uh, yeah, side yeah, of the map. yeah, yeah. It's far west uh, at the uh, yeah at the the end of the map, basically almost. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you would just I don't know, you would go in there and be teleported or something. Super annoying because I need electronics. Exactly. I'm like, yeah, oh, <laughs> damn, yeah, yeah, I found one, and no, no. gone. Uh, so yeah, these are fixed. Um, that's good because that was annoying. No more Houdini hallway because that's the the name. Yeah, of also the yeah, yeah, it could be used in the dark zone yeah. Yeah. Uh, to try to escape manhunt and everything. So that's yes. also uh, not so cool. Um, also, we have so the no respawn from <coughs> the entrance of Clear Sky, the no respawn zone, um, yeah. which was maybe a bit too uh, far at the entrance or like too early at the entrance because as soon as you would step in, you would end up in the no respawn zone, which means that your group would uh, then you would have issues entering uh, and everything. Uh, nice. This has been moved a bit, uh, a bit further in the entrance, so it's less likely that you would mistakenly enter the uh, uh, enter the uh, the incursion. And also since, well, second or next part, which is activating the challenge mode, mm, uh, yes. that we will get back to. Yes. But also regarding, yes, the, um, uh, the respawn and non-respawn issue, uh, since you have challenge mode, remember that the workaround is that you can uh, restart the mission by changing the difficulty. So yeah. if you so end the up... The no, the no respawn zone fix applies to hard mode only today. But yeah, it applies to hard mode only today. Okay. Uh, we will uh, put it on challenge mode uh, probably next week. Um, but uh, anyway, if you end up with the no respawn issue uh, mm -hmm. where you're reloading, just uh, go back to the entrance of the of the incursion, change the difficulty, change it back. That's going to reset the incursion, and you should be able to enter again. Yeah, cool. Just so you don't get confused. Yeah. Yeah. Pro tip. Nice. <laughs> All right, but that will be fixed for challenge mode as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean yeah. the the area, but then the the proper fix. We have a proper fix for uh, the reload yeah. uh, issue. Uh, Not and deployed I think today. That's next title update. Cool. But yeah, like you said, challenge mode drops today. Yes. All right. Very, very different. All right. I, I mean, I haven't played the game since I've been on vacation and enjoying the sun. Hopefully, I'm not as uh, see-through as I was yeah, this is before. A bit off there, but yeah, yeah, got a little bit burnt. But <laughs> um, so challenge mode drops today. I'm not ready. Uh, but yeah, I assume don't think some I'm people either. are. Yeah. And I don't think that's a lot of people are actually ready for it. It's we'll a uh, very different. It's like it looks a lot like the art mode, yeah. But uh, it plays really differently. Uh, like if we can, I don't know if we can give some little tips. But uh, no, we definitely you can. You, you should maybe not like you know. No, don't give the whole strategy. Not but the whole strategy, but definitely if you face and if you really feel that the challenge mode is impossible, well, first of all, it's not. Uh, but don't hesitate to go back and play the art mode. Lay on the pattern of the NPCs. Mm -hmm talk with your team, um, apply your strategy, it's easier in hard mode, and then try to apply the same in challenge mode. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to be incredibly coordinated. Well that, that's, that's the big difference, right? I mean, I, we, like many people, blew through hard mode because we'd, we'd gotten a lot of gear from, <laughs> yeah, yeah. from the previous patch, and we, to be fair, didn't have to really apply any strategy nope. to the hard mode, or very little, um, because you know we could take a few hits and it didn't really matter. We you don't have that luxury in challenge mode. Mm. Yeah, and you need, you need to set up roles. So yeah. you need tanky players with a lot of toughness that will carry the boxes. You need DPS to protect those. You mm -hmm. need skill power to wield the different um, 
the different players. Yeah. And so positioning is really important too. Yeah. Don't like hesitate to move around. Yeah, mobility. Don't, don't yeah. stick in yeah. only one place. And have fun also, of course. Yeah. Uh, but it's good but because, uh, as you said, uh, that means also that maybe people will have to go through hard mode again just to like pay more attention to actually how the waves work and you know the yeah. enemies. I think a bit uh, of practice would be because important. Because I think, yeah, as you said, like you've we've been able to rush through the hard mode so easily for some players, at least not all yeah. of them, uh, that they probably didn't pay so much attention to what was actually yeah. happening. Uh, so, yeah, mm. that's actually a luxury you should use to actually be able to take your time through the hard mode because it's not really a threat uh, for the very good uh, players. Take your time to just yeah go through it, really learn, as you said, how it works, and then see how it goes with change mode. Very nice. Yep. And as a reminder for people and, and myself, the reward system compared to what people were experiencing Falcon Lost before 1.2 is very different to the reward system right now. Because you you're guaranteed 240 every time. Yep. Correct? Yep. Uh, but weekly, you get double. Yep. All right. So if you'd, if you'd forgotten that, uh, there's a very, very good reason to run challenge mode, and more than once a week. Yeah, yeah, so because uh, even yeah, even when you already got the weekly reward, you can still do it, and you will always get 240 guaranteed. So yeah, and that 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 like Falcon Lost with the base system, um, it actually takes quite a while. Like you cannot run Falcon Lost in five minutes because yeah. you, you you have to go through all the ways. Uh, I think that Clear Sky Clear Sky is probably more difficult, but when you have the perfect strategy. You can quick. run through it uh, can go very, faster, very yeah. quickly. So it's also a good, uh, a good mission to farm, gear set. But you need the good strategy before. All right. Very good. All right, I'm going to try it out. I don't know if uh, I'm going to be doing any streaming before we head off <laughs> to E3, and that's kind of a good segue. But I will try yeah. and stream it because I will. people will want to watch me fail, I'm sure. Uh, E3. Yes. All right, we're heading out next week, Yannick. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we are. I'm actually going there on Saturday already. Okay, so I'm going on Monday, but yeah. um, that's that's going to be cool. Well, so we're going to be super there. Exciting, yes. uh, Antoine's going. Mm -hmm. Matt's going. All right, so you're not going. No, well, you need to work. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah, we we apparently don't. No, <laughs> <laughs> we're going uh, we for are going to be there. And I really, I, I, it's always really cool meeting a bunch of people there, and apparently the uh, ice cream truck. Yeah, is ice cream outside, truck is here. So Yay! I don't know if you guys heard that, but cool. Let's. Uh, Go get an ice cream after? No, we won't. Um, but anyway, E3. We're going to be doing a stream from there with a bunch of the other titles. So we're having special ops masterclass live stream. So there's going to be us. Um, what other games are we? Yeah, we're going to be with uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands and Rainbow yeah. Six. So uh, and we have a big uh, live stream that's going to be covering the three games. And we have uh, yeah, 40 minutes of this uh, live stream is going to be for the division. Mm. So we'll be talking about things and stuff. So it's going to be us and we're going to have a few guests and yeah, we're going to be talking about a few things. Yes. But also the important message if, is if you guys are going to be free or if you are actually in the LA area uh, next week, just uh, let us know because actually we want to meet as many people as we can. Uh, so even if you're not directly going to be free, but if you're in LA or in the area and you you know plan on going to LA for the occasion, mm -hmm. just uh, yeah, let us know on Twitter. Yeah. So you could tweet at the Division Game or Yannick BCH. Yeah, Yannick BCH. Yeah, I'll check mine. Hamish Bode. Oh Hamish Bode, yeah. Yeah, but we, uh, we'd like to meet up with you, so that'd be yep. fun. Let or us know. Yes. Uh, that stream, the Special Ops Event Masterclass, is going to be at 8 p.m. PDT. So more on Tuesday night, yeah. On Tuesday night. More uh, a better time for our American viewers. Sorry, people back in Sweden, it's 5 a.m. It's 5 a.m. in Europe. So yeah, 4 a.m. So. in the UK. Yeah, but we'll rebroadcast it. Anyway. Yeah, and it will be on the Ubisoft channel. So <laughs> while you know we will always keep, keep doing things on this channel, uh, that particular stream will be on twitch.tv slash Ubisoft. So if you're not following them, go over there and do that. Um, but we And there's obviously going to be a bunch of other Ubisoft streams during that time. Yep. There's going to be the uh, Ubisoft media briefing on the Monday. Yeah. You know, all that sort of thing. So always a good channel to be. And we'll, we'll host the channel as well. So yeah, yeah. you can see a bunch of that stuff. All right. Hot topics for today. What are people talking about, Yannick? Uh, yeah. So we had uh, we have a bit of a uh, situation that's going on right now mm -hmm. uh, with uh, <laughs> with a lot of discussion about stealth uh, nerfs and everything. Yes. So the one thing that happened is yes, there was a change to uh, the crit chance cap uh, yep. because it used to be capped at sixty percent, but you could still add the effect of the pulse on top yep. of it. No, you can't anymore. No, it's hard capped at sixty percent. This is an intended change because the cap was always meant to be sixty percent max anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yes, we failed at communicating on it because it should have been in the patch notes and it wasn't. Yeah. Uh, so that is clearly a fail on our side. That's a mistake. 
and uh, we are yeah looking at how we the process we had to actually write the patch notes how come we actually uh, missed that one and we will try to do better next time but this was not an intended yeah, uh, yeah. hiding or stealth thing I mean it yeah, ended up being stealth in a way because yes, we didn't communicate on it, but that was not that we were trying to. In hide retrospect, it. we would have loved to, uh, you know, give that information. Yeah, it's not so something we would try and hide. So we love we love talking about those changes. Yeah, 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 but yes, yeah, so it's confirmed, it's intended. Uh, sorry about the patch note thing. Again, we'll do better next time. Uh, but then that led to discussion about other things. So I know yes. that um, there is a big rumor going on in the community that we would have uh, stealth nerfed the drop rates in the dark zone after patch one point two. This is not true, okay? This is not true. We did not stealth nerf the drop rates. Yeah, yeah. And there's also other questions about convoluted variables that, you know, affect drop rates. It's, yeah. yeah, I mean, we are starting to see a lot of, uh, yeah, uh, also crazy theories about other things and, uh, and yeah. all of that. And, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, people see stealth nerfs everywhere. Yeah. It's a weird confirmation no. bias. Like, I found one while I was wearing one shoe, but <laughs> if you don't wear it, anyway. You get you get what you're getting at. It's very simple. Uh, there's been no changes to it. So yeah, but yeah, that. no, the drop rates definitely not. And we are like even more than that. Uh, like as we said, every time we talked about 1.2, uh, it's the generosity, uh, especially on the loot. Uh, we are extremely happy of how it looks like right now and the feedback mm -hmm. we get from the player of mm -hmm. that new uh, increase in quality, quantity yeah. of loot, etc. Uh, so. There is clearly no point for us to nerf that at all. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, everybody yeah. knows that there is a rule on the internet. You don't lie on the internet because you are going to get caught anyway. So sometimes, yeah, some mistake might uh, slip, uh, slip through the, the patch note yeah. and we forget something or another. But I mean, there is no point for us to <laughs> yeah, do that <laughs> sure. on purpose. Yeah. We, know, we know for sure yeah, that exactly. we have dedicated hardcore players that will find it anyway. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But that's good because that answers the, the question because some people said that uh, the reason why uh, there were some uh, theories about step nerf on drop rates was that they thought that we pushed it too far and we yeah. wanted to go back on it because we thought this was uh, breaking the like the balance of the game or something. No, we are actually totally happy with the way it's going right now. It's yeah. like people are getting a lot of loot, they are loving it, it's making the progression much easier, mm. much more streamlined. People are getting a lot That's more what we wanted. So a lot more totally usable things, that. you know, yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's very, very cool. Like, you go around the dark zone now and you check what dropped. You're not like, okay, I got more materials, I got more materials. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. I need to check what dropped. Yeah. Especially even the, the purple stuff. I mean, for me, I still need dark zone funds, so I'm picking up all those caches. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's very cool. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that to be said, if there are, you know, we're always looking at, even now we're happy with it, you know, S small changes that can, you know, always improve it. So yeah, yeah of, of course. course, of course, like nothing is perfect. Yeah, yet. of course. Uh, it's like we are still learning, we are still mm -hmm. gathering feedbacks, and like there is direction. We know where we want to go, and step by step, yeah, of course, we will get there as soon as possible. Actually, yeah, yeah there were a, a bunch of good questions online, that, and like what the biggest one we talked about just now was, you know, have the um, the dark zone drops been nerfed? Yeah, that sort of thing. Straight up, no. No, and we've you've looked at the numbers, you. It Show hasn't. I mean, uh, yeah. Everybody, like everybody in the team, confirmed we didn't change anything, and we even double checked in the data, yeah. like how many times gear set did actually drop in the dark zone, yeah. and it hasn't changed at all since uh, May twenty fourth. So Perfect. All right. One of the other things that people have talked about, and it's been one on the table for a long time, stash size increases. They're like, when are we? When are we getting it? We. Uh, what can we say about that? So it's happening. That's the good Yay. news. It's happening. We said it's last cool. time I talked about it on Reddit. I said that. Uh, I couldn't give a date, but this was something we were working on, and uh, it was a bit more complicated than just adding a zero in a line of code. Uh, it still is the case, but we, uh, yeah, we have a solution. It's happening, and it's happening in the next title update. Yep. So 1.3. Yes. 1.3 increase of stash size. Perfect. I'm very, very happy about this. Woohoo! <laughs> because I, I have gotten to the point where I'm like, I need more well, because of our gear sets amount have doubled. Yeah. But I still want to have all of these ones to try out. So I was like, oh, okay, stash full. I've yep. reached that point. I get it. I get it, people. We, but it's going to be increased, so. Yeah, yeah it's going to be, you know, that's, uh, that's going to be good, I think. And uh, yeah, as I said, it was, uh, we tried to explain why it was a bit more complicated and uh, yeah, it has a lot to do with, as we said, traffic and all these kind of things. So we wanted to make sure we now we're comfortable with the solution we have. So yeah, it's going to be deployed. It's just, as we explained also, it requires actually a client yep. update. So mm -hmm. that's why we have to wait until the next title update, which is going to be 1.3. Uh, so yeah, as soon as this one comes, stash size increase every. All right. 
Very nice. Uh, the other thing that people have been talking about, I saw this question. Have you thought about adding base buffs to ARs and LMGs for balancing, or will you go about it differently? I mean, because right now we have, you know, crit chance on SMGs, SMGs and we have headshot damage yep. as well. Well, not on SMGs, but on, on marksman rifles. Um, the other weapons, LMGs, shotguns. What do we... Um so we have a plan yeah. for it, uh, yeah. and that's part of our whole overall weapon balancing that will come up with 1.3. Mm -hmm. So we will not get into the details, but yes, every weapon type will have its own bonus. Great. Um, at least the primary and secondary weapon. The, okay. the side arms, uh, maybe not necessarily, but the, the, the pistol, for example, already have their expert talent attached to sure. it. Sure. Uh, but yeah, every weapon type will have its own bonuses. So. Okay, shotguns, LMGs. And okay. Shotgun as ARs. well. Yeah. So it's going to be a way to yeah rebalance everything yeah. and make sure that yeah, maybe, maybe also like are. diversify the playstyles even more. It's yeah. probably going to change quite a lot uh, the the meta, the current yeah. meta, and we are really okay eager to find yeah. out what uh, yeah. what do you think about it. Cool. Yeah, but I think it's yeah it's a. Uh, it's something that we're fully aware of, that there are currently some weapons that are better than others, and we know that LMGs are completely underused, for yeah. example, mm -hmm. and this is something we need to address, so that's going to be part of the full uh, weapon rebalancing pass that we're going to do. Uh, so yeah, we're fully aware of that. Yeah. I mean, LMGs like, are kind of like one of those niche weapons that people are trying out, like seeing how they can make them work, like mm -hmm. you know, increasing the magazine size, obviously, on them like applies to LMGs that much more than other weapons, or you have things like meticulous on on an LMG is fun, but again, maybe not the most usable. Yeah. No, I think it's it's pretty good when you just reach level 30, when you start to do the first challenge mode mission, if you have a very good SM, uh, LMG, it will mm -hmm. be, it can be really powerful if you're playing with a team, yeah. uh, with the suppression and, and yeah, yeah. The, the, the increased in accuracy, the more you shoot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you are really a min-max player, that's maybe not right now, at least, the, the, the biggest damage input that you, you can have with a weapon. But uh, yeah, as we said before, uh, even without changing too much, um, because we didn't do the full weapon balancing pass yeah. for sure. uh, 1.2, but we, sta we really start to see more and more people using shotguns in the dark zone. Mm -hmm. Like I was playing in a group yesterday, someone has an insane shotgun. They're using the like M870 or? Uh, the um, Super 90. Mm -hmm. um, with brutal deadly on yeah. it. Okay, uh, sure. I mean, <laughs> it was wrecking uh, other players in the dark zone. Nice. So it it works, um, but yeah, it's yeah. not balanced yet. So everything is coming with the the the, the one point three, uh, mm -hmm. and yes, all the weapon will have their own bonus. Yeah, nice. perfect. And uh, and obviously after one point three, we're not we're not done there with weapons. We consistently yeah, will so we'll we'll continue to look at it, and as new weapons come in and these sorts of things, and you know. Well, we talked about like the AI-12 was coming in. You know, it wasn't in 1.2, the automatic shotgun, mm. but it's coming yeah. in the future. So lots of things to look at. Uh, the next one we wanted to talk about, the formula for scavenging and how it currently affects drops. That's, I mean, scavenging has been a hot point for a lot of people. It's, yeah. um, uh, I kind of see it like we have a system. Well, it works for one. So the, yeah, and correct me if I'm wrong, right now it's, makes it so you have a chance to uh, increase the quality when a piece of gear drops. Yeah. So the gear drops and then you roll for quality. Is so yep. what scavenging does right now, um, it every time you have a drop, it uh, increases the, the more scavenging you have, the more uh, I the more it increases the chance you have to drop the same item in a higher quality. Yeah. It will not give you more item. Mm -hmm. It will not give you a higher gear score item. Um, but for example, if you open a chest, uh, and uh, for example, crafting chests, uh, it will give you a higher chance to have iron material mm -hmm. in those crafting chests. Um, if uh, a, a bo uh, not a boss, but if a regular NPC drops something, it will give you a higher chance to have a better quality. Mm -hmm. That's a, style which uh, a stat which is really useful for the leveling game. Mm -hmm. or when you want to farm the crafting materials, um, etc. Yeah. But with all the changes we made on the loot especially, so for example now in the dark zone, you have a guaranteed iron I was just going to say, yeah. yeah. So yeah, scavenging, scavenging will not doesn't do, do anything in that point. 
So with all those changes and the fact that we guaranteed already a lot of stuff from the drops, uh, the scavenging is becoming actually less and less useful. Mm -hmm. um, so we have planned for it to yep. make it uh, really uh, rewarding uh, to, to spec that way. And that, that will come up in the future. But cool. right now, yes, it increase it increases your chance of receiving a higher quality. Yeah. You will not have a higher gear score. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But like you say, since our loot system has changed yep. so much, especially with 1.2, it definitely warrants it a, a better look at it. Yeah, I know yeah. the community have been like, you know, could it apply to credits, you know, dark zone funds, all these sorts of things. Yeah, so there were some very good suggestions out there. So yeah. some, some very, very good suggestions. So, I mean, those are on the table. Yeah. Nice. All right. Uh, we are only three minutes away from the servers coming back up. Yes. But the other thing people asked was, uh, can you confirm skill power was nerfed recently? Can we confirm it was not? Yeah, <laughs> it, was it, not was not <laughs> it hasn't been touched. So no, no, nothing has changed on the, the, the skill power size or mm -hmm. the effect that the amount of skill power you have will have on your skills, etc. Uh, no, like no, no, nothing changed on, on that side. Yeah, and, and like you can, I mean, we, we said before, and we will readily admit when there have been changes, like uh, crit chance we just talked about before has been hard capped, and we're sorry that that got missed, but skill power, absolutely no, no. no changes. Um, and if there were, we would tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, as we said, there, there, there is clearly no point at all for no us to write exactly. that. Like, if we decide to do those changes, it's for you in the first place, for the players. Uh, yeah. We don't, we don't want to, like, the whole point yeah, for yeah, us exactly. is to make the game more fun for you. Uh, yeah. We, we don't have any interest on sure. hiding stuff. So Skill power. Yeah. yeah. Skill Can power confirm. is still the same, yeah. Yes. No change there. All right. That's it. That's the that's state of the game. We must be very, very close to the servers coming back up. Two minutes. Yannick, anything else before we head off? Um, again, we reminded people earlier we are going to be at E3. So we are actually not doing a state of the game next week. Ever. Yes, good point. We're going to be flying, I think. On, are we flying back on Thursday or Friday? I'm not sure. But anyway, we will yep. not be in Sweden. So state of the game will just be an empty couch. Yes. If we, if we turn on the cameras. But yes. It could be an <laughs> interesting concept. Empty couch, like state a of the game. Like a really like art. Or maybe Quentin will do it on his own. Hey, <laughs> yeah, hey, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, again. So no state of the game next week. Sorry, that's gonna be the first state of the game we don't do. Yeah, it's gonna be the first week we. But uh, it is a, a good happening. reason. Mm -hmm. I uh, we'll make up for it somehow. Yeah. Maybe a, I don't know. A giveaway the week after. Um, maybe I. Yeah. Maybe, of course. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> right. um, on, sure. on just another topic, but yeah, to yeah. come back with the whole the stealth nerf, uh, etc. Uh, we know that some of you really like to dig a little bit in the game's file, uh, oh yeah. data mining yeah, stuff. Yeah. Um, like, you can do that. That's of fine. That's but your what you really need to understand is you only have access to the client data. Yeah. yeah. So every changes that we do after that during the server maintenance, uh, like today, you will not see that in those files, so don't put 100% face on what yeah. you see there. Uh, it might be quite wrong, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there is a lot of cases also of old data that are still stored somewhere yeah. in a client that yeah. actually the server is not using anymore because it's data that we have moved server side since. Yeah. Uh, so there is a lot of inaccurate things there. Um, so yeah, you have to take it with a grain of salt. Uh, what you what you see there. Agreed. That's and uh, yeah. If you are not sure, then you can probably just ask uh, somewhere on Reddit on the forum. <laughs> <or whatever. laughs> not for every everything, uh, yeah, yeah. but for the big big issues that the, like the yeah. one. We I mean, we we'll we'll be happy to like since we're looking on all those places, we kind of see what people are talking about, and we will yeah. always continue to address the biggest things yeah. that we that we can. So that's uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, and answer the main questions. I mean, like uh, yeah, the the five questions we took now were from a Reddit thread that was created that was like, hey, let's try to have the top five questions from.